hot dogs and cheese fries mukbang let's do this okay so today i've got the most random thing on my board actually matter of fact the food actually fell off the plank into the oven when my dad tried to put it in so we could melt the cheese but today it looks pretty good what is this keegan oh no god damn it it's just a beer right justin bieber allowed me to have a beer today so i was like well let's celebrate it um so yeah today we've got beer uh i th i'm assuming this is the kind of beer you just open like bloop we got some stragetella chocolate, super random. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't choose a brand one, uh, they contain gelatin. So this is the only one that was available at my small little jumbo, which contained no gelatin. And the jumbo one itself shouldn't taste different. So like I said, we got some hot dogs. People keep asking me if I'm vegetarian. Yes, I still am till this day. So the reason I say hot dog is just it comes over much better. But let's try this, man. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Wow. All right, moment of truth. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. How is this supposed to open? Oh, wait, I have to rip the thing off maybe. Oh, God damn it, how does this open? <sighs> okay, I'm confused. Oh! Well, God damn, I just had to put it backwards. Okay, well, this is a big bottle. Let's test if this water is going to be good. not bad not a big fan of of beers you guys can't obviously tell it's not bad just beer always gives me a weird taste mm. the weird thing is with alcohol right when i take two or three four steps of it I get very warm, for example, right now, I swear to God, I'm warm at the moment. I mean, can we just acknowledge how good looking I am today? God damn, I did my hair especially. I went especially outside in the rain to do my hair. This beautiful. So, thank you. I look fantastic. You look great today as well, for the first time in a long time. I'm just kidding. You look always great. Don't ever let someone not tell you that. Now, matter of fact, this is random. I swear to God, a compliment really can make someone's day really nice. It could start off someone's day, even if they had a bad day. A random stranger, you can compliment them. Um, although nowadays, people will probably say you're arresting them. Because we know how these people nowadays. Are oh, you arresting me? No, I just said you look good. Uh, but I have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I just said you were good looking. I swear to God, that's how it is. It's always been that, oh, but I have a boyfriend. I was just complimenting you. I don't care if you got a boyfriend or girlfriend. I was just saying you look good. Damn. What's your number, though? <laughs> you know? Well, no. Um, like I said, I don't drink. So if I make these kind of videos, um, I swear to God, man, it gives me headaches. It, 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 it's giving me a headache right now. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's try this out. Oh, I don't know if this is good anymore. It's a bit thick. I like them thick. God, it has a nasty taste. I mean, smell. Is this even good still? 4.24. That's good till to two weeks. Alright. Let's eat some. I hope you guys been doing well lately, man. I've been doing good. Just been feeling better as well. What I like about these ones, the fact they've got milk in it, which makes them a little bit creamy. I like it like that. Sounded very wrong, but you know what I mean. I wasn't referring to anything weird. Maybe I was. Maybe. Wait, what? I'm still a virgin. How can I know? 
Mm. We've also got some rain in the background, which is... I actually remember, I think two years ago, I made a 5 a.m. mukbang, but it was, to be quite fair, it was 6 a.m. when I recorded in the morning. It was also raining, which which made the vibe completely different and very nice. Um, people ask if that was real. Yes, it actually was. Since I'm not going to be using rain audio in the background, since it's just really strange. And it's copyrighted, so, yeah. I love it when it rains, because it always makes a very nice background drop for, like, when I make ASMR videos. Although, to be kind of fair, I, I can't really hear myself whisper that good when it's raining. So, you know. But for the rest, it makes a very nice relaxing calming background it kind of removes the white noise in the background you know what i mean i think they know what you mean okay but yeah very random but very delicious yeah this is something you can make easy i actually kind of prefer to use mozzarella cheese don't know if it makes any kind of difference but it does melt a little bit more creamy as well um you can also add some butter to it which i know you guys in america do like that god awful cheese that you know like nasty disgusting fake cheese like the very very bright yellow uh, orange cheese i think um, we don't have them here, to be kind of honest. I don't know if, even if we do, I don't know where you're able to get one, but they don't sell them here in my stores. I don't know if this is supposed to be thick. Isn't this supposed to be thin? Maybe it's, maybe it's because there's no gelatin in it. Like, maybe could that be, I don't know. Let's test it out. Oh, that's good. Hmm. It tastes the same like Danio. Hmm. It really tastes the same almost. I swear to God, it is. It, I swear. I mean, even the packaging is identical. The square shape, you know. You see, for those who do not know, it's got the V label on it, which 100% guarantees that it's vegetarian. Just because. I have people ask me this quite often as well. Keegan, how am I sure or how are you sure as a vegetarian if the product you're consuming is actually vegetarian? Um, not all products are... The thing is, you got to still remember, not everything is required to have a V label on it for vegan or vegetarian. Um, because some products itself are vegan, such so as vegetarian. So for example, this is vegan. Uh, for you wondering, but why would there be got the milk in it? Some manufacturers put milk or egg in it maybe as well could be don't know why but they put milk in it just for that little bit more creamy richer taste um coca-cola is vegan yet it doesn't have a v label on it because it's not required by law however i do always say as a company putting a lab label on does make it good for the consumer then they know 100 percent. okay the product that i'm about to consume i'm sure of the fact that it's either vegan or 100 percent vegetarian which is very nice that they put it on here because if there wasn't a label on it, there could still be something animal-wise here and there. That's what the people often don't get. You could get a product and it may not contain any gelatin, but you have to be careful with the, the, the numbers, that, like the E400 so what. Um, that contains of insects, or like jelly beans without gelatin. They've got a certain insect thing in it they grab it from like a tree the outside of the tree and then there could be some insects i don't know what in it um so it's a bit, bit bit 50 50 but i'm very glad this one god damn this 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 tastes really nice um i would have loved the denny one obviously but like i said it, it had gelatin in it which i don't get why i swear to god the marketing is so bad when it comes to desserts for vegetarian if you're vegan you're gonna have a big problem because there's almost nothing like this uh except daniel has a vegan one which is God, that one is good. I had it before. I only had it once because I was only managed. I only managed to grab it once because there was only one. It had it, it, instead of milk. It has cocos now. I swear. To, I swear that one is actually better than this one because I love coconut. And coconut is a great replacement for dairy. Or it's, it really is. You can make a lot of good vegan products with 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 coconut milk. People often don't think about that. Like you can make this. 100% vegan from just coconut and the other remaining stuff in here. Yeah? That's really what it is. It's just milk with some flavoring. I think vanilla, right? Yeah, vanilla extract. Very easy. Aroma then, not extract, but you know. Hmm. It's very nice. I like it. 
Oh yeah, I was just going to say as well, um, I think I mentioned in the previous mukbang, or mukbang before, I have been thinking recently, considering, maybe trying meat for the first time, um, but as I mentioned as well, there's just a small kind of part of me keeping me back of like trying it, you know what I mean, um, I'm still thinking about it, I don't know, and if I were to, I'd probably, to be kind of fair, I probably, if I had to, I don't have to, you know, but if I had to choose, it'd probably be chicken. It 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 will probably be have to be chicken for me then, yeah. This chicken tastes good, vegetarian or not. I can't deny it. The shit is good. It tastes and smells good. You know what I mean? You can't beat a good chicken, man. Fake or not, it's 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 still good. I can't deny, it, man. It's really good. And to be kind of fair, yeah, I do miss the taste of it. Keeping it very real, I do sometimes kind of want to like, damn, I could really go for a nice piece of chicken or steak. But then, like I said, the thing that's keeping me back is the behind the scenes of how it ends up on my plate. And that's unfortunately, and I'm saying unfortunately, if it was a different way, I would consume it. But that's the thing that's keeping me back, is that part. I just mentally can't get over that part. And accepting the fact that it happens, I can't. I can't get over that part. I've tried it so often. I swear to God, I've tried. I went to the real meat section. I just get sick. I I don't know why, man. It's just a mental thing I have. Bef before I was vegetarian, I didn't care. Didn't bother looking at the price. Just grab a piece of meat that I desired at the moment, and I went with it. But I'm gonna keep it real. I watched some of my old mukbangs. It, it looked really tasty. Keep it honest. I remember. I think it was. 30 December I had uh, the last time I had real steak I think it was the last time I had steak and then I think a week two later I went vegetarian I was going to be I was going to try being vegetarian first and then maybe mix it up but I went fully vegetarian uh, pretty vegetarian for a year plus and the weird thing is my parents are, were actually also vegetarian about a year ago but they're now pescatarians which means that they only eat fish and etc they don't eat meat like me I hope I answered your question. I have been considering it, thinking about it at least. Not really considering, but like thinking like, you know, it'd be good, it'd be awesome for the content. But at the same time, I don't want to force myself upon making videos if I don't feel comfortable with the product itself. As I mentioned, as I know, the last time, I swear to God, I remember it from my head. The last time I had a, a, a real meat mukbang was the lamb, lamb chops uh, one, the halal one. Um... My brother had told me, if I don't like the fact, you know, the normal stuff, you should try and consider getting the halal thing. And even with that, I was kind of skeptical, you know, all due respect to you guys, uh, to your religion, I respect it. Matter of fact, I don't mind it at all. But it didn't, I didn't really, in, got in, I wasn't interested in the fact that it was halal. The point was, for me then, the end product. I know what happened, it, it got its life taken away. Um, in a humane way, I'm not going to argue in what I think about that because it's not relevant. It's, it's the way to do it. Um, but I had that lamb, and I swear to God, I had that lamb burger, and I took a couple of bites out of it in the video, and just kind of didn't enjoy the taste. I kind of lost the taste of loving it. I, I lost my taste of loving the taste of it. You know, if that makes any kind of sense, because I kept thinking about what happened to the animal. And that's what made me really think, well, that's it, I suppose. If I don't like eating meat right at the moment because of the thing behind, might as well try something else, I suppose. Uh, and for you wondering why I am not a pescatarian, I, God, I don't love fish. It's goddamn disgusting, all right? I don't like fish. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to do with how it is ended up, but I just don't like the taste of fish. Uh, I, I don't know, not a big fan of fish, never been one. Um, but yeah. I hope I answered your questions. So yes, I am still vegetarian. I know I bring this up in a lot of my mukbang, but just to clear it up, people that are new to the channel, I am vegetarian. Uh, will I stick to being a vegetarian for the rest of my life? I don't know. I, I really have got no clue. Uh, I want to say yes, but who knows? I may not be alive within five years. But you got to look at it like that. Keegan, that is so weird. I, I'm hey, I'm just keeping it real, man. You got to look into the future. You will be 16 in about one minute. The bear is disgusting, I'm gonna just keep it real. I ain't a big fan of the bear, but hey, 
I hope y'all enjoyed this mukbang. I know, gosh, my god, Keegan, you talk so much. Well, go and check out the other mukbangers if you don't like this. Please don't. Please, get my fuse up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the content recently. Uh, this was really nice. I actually enjoyed this more than the food. Um, I don't know how you guys do it in America. I swear to God, I just can't figure it out how you guys melt the cheese so perfectly over the, the fries. Like, I want to get it as... I, I, maybe I have to add something the next time when I want to do a cheesy steak. Um, oh God damn it. A cheesy... Something with cheese in it. Maybe I have to use the fondue cheese again. I'm not a big fan of it. Don't like it that much, but... I think they got a new flavor. I think they recently came out with something new. So we can definitely... What the hell? What the hell, man? What is this in my hair? We can definitely try that out, maybe. Um, I want to make my own vegetarian steak. I want to try and see if I can do that. But yeah, hope you guys have been loving the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Matter of fact, tomorrow on Keegan Sparkers, I've got a brand new video coming out. And also uh, a new ASMR video coming out. Either ASMR Q&A or driving my car in public. One of the two we're going to see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support and love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, peace out, man. See you guys in about two weeks. In two days. Yes, I upload every single two days. Check out later, man. The Virgin King is going to go to Justin Bieber's old house in Canada. Bye-bye.